Okay, good evening. Uh, just in advance of recording our sort of usual um, tutorial on strike scene campaign, uh, what I thought I'd do is actually do some unboxings of the more recent white box stuff you could get from the Flying Frog um, web store. Uh, I had both my Roll to Move uh, and my Gen Con stuff through, so I thought we'll, we'll go through it all and you can have a look. Uh, hopefully, this is going to come out in slightly better resolution because we're using the camera in 4K mode, but it's recording to itself, which means hopefully this won't take. Uh, an hour, otherwise we're going to be in trouble because the battery will run out. Uh, it's also coming off the uh, the microphone on it, so audio quality is not as good as usual. So anyway, uh, rolling straight on. Um, the usual thing you do when you buy like a bunch of stuff, uh, you get some promos. So promos these times around, I think I've seen these before. Uh, one is this, the Helm of Aurelo. Um, so it's for your Spanish Fort stuff, your Conquistadors, I believe. It's, is it a Conquistador one? Yeah, there you go. Spanish Fort artifact, um, max grit, plus one. No, moderately useful, uh, but whenever you receive, get a map passage tile, you can recover a grit and free upgrade slots. Always, you know, never, never worth missing over the fact there's a ton of upgrade slots in that. So, okay, that looks moderately useful. Uh, another one, let's see here, is for Norse for the Norse adventures. Um, an artifact for that, uh, Axe of Lorgar. Uh, so, a one handed axe. Whenever you scavenge, gain D3 rage, um, and then you can use two, ra two rage to get either two move or plus two initiative. Plus two initiative on that looks really, really good. Um, Any way you can get yourself going ahead of the enemy sometimes can be really, really key. Um, plus again, you've got two upgrade slots, so not bad, not bad. Um, so, moving on to what I actually got that's from the web store. Uh, first one, we'll go over the card pack, is this one. Uh, the Next Big Score, um, which um, you'll probably, if you've been following, you'll have seen the, the Hills talk about um, on their streams and stuff, but it is a card expansion pack so basically you usually get one of these and then 15 other cards this is in their line of there you go there's a list of what's in it this is in their line of adventures so it's modifiers you can do to your ordinary missions um, and games to change them alter them so far they've been sort of a lot of them have been geographical it's like taking place in certain specific parts of the shadows of brimstone world um, which then messes with basically your risk reward um, there's a couple ones that have been special to, to creature types. Um, but the, the ones that this is in the line of, though, is they're gradually doing ones that are based around the um, the uh, keywords. So, you know, your heroes can have certain keywords. They've already done Law, they've already done Holy. Uh, and this one, uh, if I can find it, where's it going to be saying on it, uh, I think is Outlaw and Performer. So if you've got an Outlaw or a Performer, then you can start doing the next big scores. Um, it also, as you can see, there's like a ch ton of chunky rules to this. Um, this is a little bit more different in that those ones produce like more cards for Law and Holy Heroes and a couple of extra things to do. Whereas this is pretty much, as I understand it, modifying uh, the entire uh, sort of mission to have like an extra sub-mission going on. So you have like encounters, as usual in these things. But then you have roles that people can be where they, they do stuff. Um, I'm kind of showing you these. I'm not looking because I like to be surprised. So there you go. So there's basically roles that you can be. Um, I think this, let me just show you the art on the back. That's the big score roles. Normal mine encounters on the back of that. But yeah, on the back of this card, there is the rules about how to basically do a score. You build up these score tokens as they are, um, and you can get the extra loot out of them. Um, but the score tokens, as I believe, come from uh, those roles. So if you do the things that your role says you do, like your lookout, you're looking for people to to you know, warn the party. If you do that, you get some score tokens, you get some extra loot. Complications, apparently if you clue, you get a complication. Again, I'm not gonna read them. This is in 4K though, so hopefully you will be able to. So that was that pack, looking forward to that. Um, those of you who are following our uh, Tradaran campaign will realize we do have a performer. Uh, my Legionnaire has a ukulele, and therefore is a performer. So we could use those. They'll be going into our adventure modifier deck for next time. Right. Next up, Roll to Move Goodie Box 2024. Um, I've been fortunate enough to get hold of all the old ones as well. Um, obviously, you can't physically be present in Roll to Move, but I was actually for the first time this year uh, taking part. Had a bunch of fun. Um, played, a, played a whole slew of different games. Got to play in the Lost Tombs of Cam and Tet as well, preview. That was good. Um, played on the 3D maps as well. All good stuff, all good fun if you like Shadows of Brimstone. Um, and the other games, but I'm mostly a Shadows of Brimstone fan at this point. Right, so what we've got in here, so if I try and spread this out a bit, 
and I'll move it, put it against the white. There you go. Uh, this is, get that base out of the way of the, in the bag. This is the junk bot. Um, so it's an alloy. Uh, it's just having a feel. I'll open up, is it resin or is it thermal plastic? I suspect it's thermal plastic. I seem to switch to that for everything as much as I might dislike it. I do understand it makes it easier for their manufacturer. Oh, actually, he says. Hard to tell, but I think it's thermal plastic. Yeah, so it's so a basic jump bolt. We're going to assemble that. Uh, looks like it has. So you can have that leg on there. That's its feet. Uh, and there's shoulder arm on that side. I'm not sure what that is. But yeah, it doesn't look like there's much uh, posability in this. It looks like it is an absolute flat model. There's no um, swapping around of pieces and components. It's like it is exactly what it is. Uh, it's an ally, but it's an ally that apparently you can like really modify by um, finding bits and pieces in the in the wasteland where it comes from, the blasted waste. So hopefully when we get a posse that goes there, we'll get hold of one of those and it'll be fun. I presume somewhere in here, past the bubble wrap that's been protecting that. There you go. Card pack with rules for the junk bot. Anything else in this card pack? Probably. Yeah, I'd say a lot of cards. How many cards have we got in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's quite a lot. Uh, so, yeah, it talks about building a junk bot. Uh, again, I'm, gonna, I'm only going to skim it. I'm not going to read it much myself because I want to be surprised. Apparently, you can turn junk into junk bot bits. Um, and then uh, that's how you basically build it up and give it all its stats from different things. Energy shield, uh, those are coming in in blasted waste. Various different enemies have energy shields, but it looks like the junk bot can have one too. Uh, that's it. That's one of its heads. That's his uh, motivator, uh, rusty claw, power core, all, all this kind of stuff. Um, not going to be what they do. Uh, you can if you want. So those are all your bits and pieces from blasted waste artifacts you can find or go and make to make your junk bot better. Uh, Lost Explorers Canteen. I'm guessing that's a gear card. It's not bound for anything, so it goes with your normal uh, vanilla sort of mines, shadows of brimstone. Um, but what was that? Start of each adventure, place two grit here once per turn, discard a grit here to recover a grit. Okay, so it's basically a reserve of two grit um, that you can have. Well, that seems pretty good. Um, oh, uh, special epic um, for Crocs and Beast plus Frost Giant. Uh, appears to that one, appears to be Norse. <laughs> So it's an ice beast, apparently it's not a croc since it's an ice beast. But yeah, if you've got both of the adventures, that's a use. use. And here we have two of these, two secret, secret pressure inter intestinal passage. Um, so they are, yeah, they're Fofo and Belly the Beast. Sorry about that, I just nudged it. Um, so that's what this is. That's that map tile there. It's, very, it's the first map tile I've seen where you've got this narrow one only one sort of tile, you know, very, very bottlenecked for your models. I guess they're not so worried now by the way the special rules on a lot of the models now um, allow you to shoot past you and crawl past you and all that kind of stuff. They're not too worried about creating choke points for, for the heroes. Um, also, you know, a bunch of tokens for energy shields, a bunch of tokens for your junk bot for randomised stuff. That goes over there. More rules for junk bot. I guess this is going to be the usual um, sort of um, sort of small size card for allies where you've got the basic and advanced allies in here. If I'll open them up for you. So yeah, basic on one side, advanced on the other, it tells you how to use the junk bot. Then you've got the upgrades and mutations. In this case, malfunctions because they don't get mutations because it's not living. It's a robot. Um, so, yeah, uh, interesting, this is this is the first one of these boxes I've kind of opened with. There hasn't been anything else other than Shadows of Brimstone. This is like a purely Shadows of Brimstone box. Um, I wonder if that's indicative of basically where all the money's coming from. I don't know. So that was that. What else came out Roll to Move? Um, void Spiders, uh, number three in the Swarm Packs. Um, they're basically using a lot of the old um, sort of red plastic that was the extra sets you could get for some of the original boxes models, throwing in a couple of pieces of terrain to spawn them, and then a bunch of whole new rules um, to use them. So yeah, here we go. If you'll open it up. Don't need to open these up. People are probably very familiar with these. These are red plastic, old school, um, 
void spiders. So what have I got there? I've got 12. Is that right? Yeah, I've got 12. 12 more void spiders, just what I need. I've already got 12 in the base box. I've got 12 in the new box. Another 12 void spiders. Um, and then I'm guessing these are either going to be resin or thermal. Maybe they've made the move to thermal plastic. These are the little spawners for them. Little egg things. Yeah, feels like thermal plastic rather than um, yeah, rather than resin. There you go. I think there's two bags of exactly the same, so you can get those sort of three style little spawners. And of course, being thermal plastic, of course, they don't sit flat because they're bent. Oh, well, never mind. Not much we can do about that. We'll fix it when we come to paint them and so on. Uh, so there's the spawners for it. So we've got the voice buyers, we've got the spawners. Get the out of the way. And then you're into all the card packs and stuff for it. Get them out, just so you can get that box out of the way. Uh, so, quite a few of these. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, because what it's going to give you is not only the enemy sheet for void spiders, just in case you didn't have that, it's going to give you all the special variant void spiders from the very different world. So, there's void spiders, brutal side. I think that should be exactly the same. So there's trench spiders from Tradera. Um, they have slightly special different rules for cover. They have cover, I think they do. Uh, yeah. So, trench spiders, ancient spiders, Targa. Yeah, Targa. Um, there you go. That's those bile spiders from Belly of the Beast, I think. Oh, you're telling me up there, isn't it? Yeah, so the Belly of the Beast, um, Bile Spiders, Nightshade from Forest of the Dead. I don't even remember half of these kinds of spiders. And good luck, someone who wants to try and colour them all in. You know, different, you know, 12 of each of these colours. Loads of voice. Crab Spiders from Farox. So we haven't seen these yet, because it's Farox. But yeah, when that comes out with Lost Tombs of Karen Set, we always have some spiders for Farox. They appear to have armour. Uh, and there's the exact, there's a card for the spawners, um, which presumably are just going to basically, they, they chuck out more and more eggs, or they appear to have a bunch of other stuff that I'm going to look forward to when I actually play them. So there you go, enemies, uh, as is usual with these again, you get uh, basically uh, a single A4 sheet of paper, it tends to have, talks a bit about them, intro, and then what they are, and then there's a mission on the other side, yep, call it, there's a mission. So there's a special mission now for, for doing egg spiders burning to try and get rid of the web spider infestation. Um, uses webbed that was first came about with the Jorogumo. Uh, speaking of which, see there you've got web tokens if you don't have the Jorogumo. Void Venom, which I, I think that came in the target set where they came from, but uh, get some more if you need them. And here's a card pack. What's in the pack of cards? Uh, yep, so usual rule stuff, that's what Web does, that's what Void Venom does, a bunch of fret cards, so uh, that's a free power dice of Void Spiders, wow, that was just sick, that, those are some serious Void, void Spiders, uh, and then you've got Void Spiders with egg sacks, in basically the three different those, uh, Ancient Spiders, so uh, I'm guessing we're going to go through all the different other worlds here, so that's your uh, Targa with spawners, Tadara with spawners, Belly of the Beast with spawners, Crabs from Farox with spawners, Forest of Dead with spawners, Crab Spiders on their own? That's interesting. But yeah, Crab Spiders from Farox on their own, Nightshade from Forest of Dead. I guess maybe those don't already have them, so they're new, so they're not in the, that set. So if you buy a Forest of Dead, there isn't a variant, but now there is if you buy this. Um, and looks like we've got pretty much what looks to be a very similar encounter card, but for all the various, so it's sort of like same encounter card, but for all the different worlds. Cool. Void Spiders, refreshing an old friend. Void Spiders, not much of a threat nowadays, but you never know, they may kick it up a bit, not for those. So last the boxes that we had from, um, Mold move is these is the warden mark six centuries. Apparently, the higher the number, the smaller the warden. Everyone, I, I was along with everyone else crying out for the warden mark two that's as big as the table. Um, get rid 
that. So there's my models. Get everything out. There's the card pack, tokens, uh, slightly smaller bit of paper, and the enemy sheet. So not quite so much in this as the Void Spider um, spawn pack. Let's have a look at the models first. Uh, there's going to be three of these, I'm led to believe. They are large size. There should be three different variants of them. I'm going to see if I can get them out. Okay, these are these are full of fiddly bits. So that's what a head. There's two heads, a shield. Two heads, two shields, an arm. Uh, spaces don't do those anymore. They're all transparent. Um, okay. So there's your three different sort of torsos. Again, thermal plastic. I'll, I'll whinge about it until the cows come home, but yeah, there's thermal plastic. Um, three different torso sections. So I guess in here there's, yeah, there's there's two shield arms. So two of them are going to be using shields. There's an arm with a pointing finger, so one of them doesn't have a shield. Uh, and three heads, if you can see here and there. So that's, going to, that's the models. There's your enemy sheet. Um, yeah, they do stuff. I'm not going to read it. I'm going to surprise myself, but if you want to look now, you can. That's those. Uh, again, intro flavour text, then description of what they do. If there's anything new rules wise, here it is. So energy shields, as mentioned, um, they do energy shield stuff. Um, so they basically use them to uh, bounce the, the, the wounds done to them. Uh, and they can do stun, apparently they can do stun with the batons, so take your defense away. And there you go, stun markers, energy shields, tokens, just in case. You haven't got stunned. Energy shield is new, so I suppose you wouldn't have that. And lastly, here is the card pack. Lastly, the old smooth. Let's get that out of the way. So rules again for energy shields. I'm guessing stunned on the other side. Yeah, stunned. Uh, and then there is a bunch of uh, encounter cards. So those look like three different encounter cards. All look reasonably identical. So three encounter cards for blasted wastes. Then you've got some more vanilla ones for mines so yeah there you go there's your mines ones there's the epic sorry elite no epic epic threat for blasted waste that you use them and apparently they get elsewhere because there is a derelict ship more than one oh and there's a darkness card for them there you go there's a darkness card specifically for them if you want to read it i'm not as per usual i'm going to save all that for when it comes up in play and that is it for Roll to Move. Those are all the new stuff you would get uh, only from the web store that came out at Roll to Move. Since then we've also had Gen Con, so now I'm going to go through stuff that came on the web store at Gen Con. Um, you'll have to forgive me being a bit later than, than uh, Gen Con and all that and stuff on the grounds that, well, I don't live in America. So, yeah, getting over all this stuff coming over to me takes a bit of a while to get to the UK. Promos, um, I think I've already, I've already got, certainly I've already got this one. It's Tentacles in the Void, it's not any, it's not any different from the uh, Tentacles of the Void you'll have already from the basic set, but it's full bleed if you know what that bit is. So, so the artwork actually you can see beneath and right to the edges of the card rather than if you look at that one you'll see where it cuts off. This one does not, it's full bleed so you get to see more of the artwork. And then what's this one? Oh, Dead Man's Card, oh yeah, I have this thing as well, which is uh, plus one luck and then one for adventure. Uh, discard any card just drawn and draw a new card to replace it. Uh, that is can be phenomenal. Um, there are certain decks where you just do not want certain cards to come out, and the other options are pretty good, so can be phenomenal. Right, so that that was those. What else have we got? So a couple of just plastic bags. They don't come with anything else. Um, we'll come to a moment what goes with them. These are the models for two more of the wasteland. Um, uh, they're the wasteland bosses. Oh, I forget what they're called, but they are basically the wasteland bosses. They're in the blasted wastes um, book. There's several of them. They lead war bands. Um, this one is Rejack of Man, who is one of those weird aliens. I don't know what they're called. I forget what they're called. It looks like you put it together like that. Again, thermal plastic, three pieces, a bit of a pattern base. Somehow he goes like that. Uh, there you go, there's your reject of Man, really big uh, alien dude. 
he needs a warband. Three pieces, put him over there. Uh, and I forget what this one's called. I'll find out in a moment. But it's the Trun. So there is a Trun who is a needs a warband. We'll get him out. So uh, yeah, there's obviously a Trun on wherever the blasted waist is. So that's his sort of body like that. His leg or the leg sort of goes there. Then you've got his two arms. One's got a shield. One's got a sword, so he's you know, very much like that, an upgrade of the Trun Gladiators we got in the last adventures. Um, but these guys tend to have really quite stonkingly good stats, because they're supposed to be like, you know, warlords and, and in charge of people. So, those are, those are you can go the, get those as the models, um, you can buy the models. You can also buy the, what I've got here, which are the necessary cards to make them. Oh, there you go, his name's Kokontar. Yeah. Reason why I can't remember that. But yeah, these are the cards you need in order to actually run them as their own separate enemies rather than just generic warband leader figures. So we have that, much like there was like scaffolds um, and um, some of the previous wasteland war warlords. So there you go, there's Reject and Marn. Um, again, I'm not going to read too much into it, but I can see jumping straight out. Nine initiative, that guy's going to go first. Um, I can see six combat and three damage, so yeah, he's going to be pretty, pretty tough. Um, he gets brutal side, and you also get this one for the Kong Kong Tower. Um, wow, just looking again, looking at the stats briefly, like, yeah, yeah, he doesn't look fun. We will obviously have to try them out at some point. Uh, and then, yeah, over here we should have the cars that go with them. It's going to be the um, fret cards for them. So, Kokontar raiding party, so that's Kokontar with his mates. That's the that's just a vanilla um, blasted. Kokontar and some wasteland scavengers as a medium threat in the mines, as a high level threat in the mines. There's your epic threat for Kokontar. Again, blasted waste badged. They look like him and a bunch of other models from. Oh, he's got both Trung Gladiators Hunters and Wasteland, so that's pulling from quite a few different places. Uh, and they've got rejects. So rejects got a grading party in the wasteland. Uh, you'd then go medium for him and, and some scavengers in the mines, and a uh, high for him and some scavengers in the mines. And then there's him, plus some of the wasteland models as a epic threat for what blasted wastes. Uh, and a couple of artifacts. Yeah, a couple of blasted waste artifacts. Blood paint and bone blade. Not reading them. They'll be a surprise for me, but you can have a look now if you wish. So that, that was those. Uh, also, there was a, a box set, which is these, the Executions of Valitor, uh, apparently, or Valitore, I don't know, are they, are they you know, Italian? Who knows? Um, so apparently these are part of the lore of the wider um, Shadows of Brimstone and the wider Flying Frog sort of uh, intellectual property. I don't really know about them much myself, other than come from the void. Who knows? Get everything out again, the white box. There. So what have we got? Models first again? Yeah, let's do models first. Um, slightly different plastic bag, don't know why. Again, feels fairly plastic um, and quite a lot of spindly bits by the look of that there. So there is one looking at an orb. There is one with an axe. There is one with nothing. He's got nothing in his hand. He's, oh, he's armless. Um, and then these little bits will come out. Presumably to go with them. There'll be the missing arms for them. And what on earth? They look like alien face, like bits, but I guess they're like bone crest things that, yeah, bone crest things that go on the back. So they've got like a splayed out bone cresty thing behind them. Yeah, yeah, so it's two of an axe, one of an orb. Make all that what you will. There we go. All those bits go together to give you three executions. Over there. Enemy card for them. Does some stuff. Um, I'll let you read that if you want. There you go. There's the brutal side. Uh, tokens. No idea what they are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Presumably master. Oh, Vault Master. So presumably you can have an upgraded special one on some of the cards, which looks to be the fella holding the orb. Um, presumably those are relevant for something. Piece of paper that comes with them. Fluff text. Uh, 
description, threat cards, special rules. Looks like there is a whole bunch of special rules. One of the things I do know about this, um, you can um, basically do what I call void secrets. Uh, it is if you kill them, I think it is, you can look into the void uh, rather than just taking as well, or might be as well than, might be as well as, I'm not sure, um, taking loot. You can instead look into the void. There's a deck of cards you go through. Uh, they can be quite powerful, but they also have some downsides to them. Interesting, like it as a mechanic. What can't wait to see and get it played. So we'll put them over there. I mean, that does mean for those of you watching, it means I'll have to actually paint, which the uh, sort of paint queue is ever ever growing, as everyone knows. So let's have a look at the cards. Rules about stuff. So there's the void secrets rules. That's the things you do. You pull when they if you die. Other side. That's the vault master. So that's the, what happens if you have a, one of the special, the special variants, big bar guy of them. Um, okay, what else we got? So threat cards looks like you can get one as a as a low level threat. You can get D three as a medium threat, three as a high, and your epic is a vault master with two ordinary ones, um, all of which mine badged or lack of any badge. And there's your voice secrets. Um, I'm going to quickly go through them. If you want to read them, feel free to pause. I am absolutely not looking at any of those. There you go. What else we got? So there was um, also coming out of three, which is handy because you can get the three for two offers. Uh, three new packs, which are team abilities for all the current teams in the game. So there's one for the Void Kings, one for the Conquistadors. And the one that you're probably going to see most for me at the moment, I'm playing with them, is the Tredarans. Um Again, I ain't going to look at these. I'm going to wait for them to crop up in play. Although it does look, I just saw on the back of this, um, I suppose you should look on the card list. Yeah, it looks like some personal items to add to the personal item deck as well. So it looks like you can get um, 10 new team abilities, which more than doubles the team abilities for um, them, I think. And then, yeah, some extra... Uh, personal items which you can get at the start of the game. So you've got those, there you go, you've got that one, 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 that one. Enjoy. Uh, here's personal items, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Again, I'm not looking. I, I prefer to keep these things fresh, but people have commented they'd actually rather like to see the cards, so who am I to deny you it? Here's the Conquistadors. I've Bet you it's the same. Ten new abilities, five personal items. Who knows? What does it say? There you go. Yeah, ten new abilities, five personal items. So what have we got in here? That one. 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 And then new personal items. I really hope the fact I'm doing this in 4K 30 FPS allows you to actually read those, otherwise it's going to be very embarrassing. And then lastly, the Tredaran ones. I'd be surprised if this is the same format because they've got to get through six Tredaran factions in 15 cards. So I doubt there's more than one or two per each faction. Yeah, there's like three, yeah, there's three vanillas and two for each of the six that are in play at the moment. Obviously the seventh, the monarchy, is coming in the new box in wave three. We'll see that. So that's the vanilla one, vanilla one, vanilla one, and then union, union, blah, the thing with the map man, uh, Tarkon, Shintaro, Liberation, Carcass Confederation, and uh, then the Iron Boundary. There you go, and that's it. That's everything that was new in Roll to Move and Gen Con. Um, I could have waited for Dice Fest, but I figured I've waited long enough for the Roll to Move one to do this video. So there you go. I might do another one up the Dice Fest when I get all that stuff. Um, we shall see. Hope that's been of help to people, making you decide whether you want to get some of this stuff or not. Um, it's all on their website at the moment. I don't think any of this is sold out yet. So feel free to go buy it if you like.